Hi, I'm Nick Kramer of Global Fixed Income Research at Standard & Poor's. Though still at ultra-low levels in a historical sense, bond yields in both the Treasury and corporate bond markets have begun to rise since the start of May, roughly around the time the Federal Reserve announced its intent to wind down its policy of buying $85 billion worth of mortgage debt a month. Not surprisingly, industrial bond returns have seen a downward trend over the same time, and the severity of this decline in daily returns is noteworthy. Still, this combination of decreased return on investment for investors and higher borrowing costs for corporate issuers has not stopped the pace of new issuance in the high-yield corporate bond market at all. In fact, just the opposite has occurred. The count of speculative-grade industrial new issuance reached a 12-month high in May. Yields on U.S. speculative-grade industrial bonds have been falling at a steady pace over the last 10 months, reaching record lows as investors sought return after U.S. Treasuries hit an all-time low on July 25, 2012. This trend held up until roughly May 6, when both the five-year Treasury yield and five-year speculative-grade industrial bond yield began to rise markedly. Over the course of May, the yield on five-year Treasuries rose 40 basis points to finish May 31st at 1.05 percent. Meanwhile, the yield on industrial bonds for the double B plus category widened by 67 basis points, while those of double B and double B minus and B rated corporate rose by 41 basis points and 46 basis points respectively. However, because the increase in treasury yields has been more substantial in a relative sense, the spread on five-year speculative grade bonds has continued to decrease, making high yield corporate debt all the more attractive to investors even as speculation has started as to when the run on profitability of high yield debt will end. As speculative grade industrial bond yields rose over the course of May, bond returns have fallen precipitously. The return on non-financial corporate debt rated double B declined to negative 0.14 percent as of May 31st from 0.14 percent as of May 1st, and the return on corporate debt rated single B declined to negative 0.11 percent from 0.13 percent. Only two days earlier, on May 29th, the daily returns on both series hit their lowest points during the last 12 months, declining to negative 0.33 percent for the double B rated bonds and negative 0.3 percent for the single B rated bonds. Despite their bond returns turning negative and the quicker increase in borrowing costs, Demand for U.S. speculative-grade industrial bonds remains strong. In May, the U.S. saw the highest number of speculative-grade non-financial bonds come to market in the last 12 months, up to 59, from only half that number in the prior month. By debt volume, May became the fourth highest of the last 12 months, finishing at $25.4 billion, compared with only $15.5 billion in April. The observed increases in corporate and treasury yields are a natural reaction to an announcement of tightening monetary policy. However, given that the Fed has been less than precise in both the timing and nature of implementing these changes, we expect continued increases in both corporate and U.S. treasury yields in the near term as a result of the uncertainty stemming from this imprecision. However, any future increases in yields will likely occur at a more muted pace. What remains to be seen is if this increase in borrowing costs continues to apply to both private as well as public debt. Investors in speculative grade corporate debt have enjoyed an extended period of high returns. However, that is likely reverse course, particularly if yields on comparably safer treasuries continues to increase. 